It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you. Hey, uh, my name is Ginger Stamps, and I am the um, entertainment director here at Eden. And we want to welcome you to our home. And um, we are here today to celebrate. Uh, a very special person uh, that left us too soon. So for the next couple hours, it's about him. Um, we all knew him very differently. I knew him as Robin. Uh, some of you know him as Rob, um, or dad, or a friend, or grandfather, or the person that fed people, um, always uh, opened their home uh, to anybody that wanted to come. So today we're going to celebrate uh, his life and his legacy that he, he left with each and every one of us. Um, so at this time, we actually have some appetizers out and we are going to have some food out. And we want you guys to uh, fill up a plate and have some food. But at this time, I would like, um, Pastor, if you'd like to come up and say a prayer with us. Usually I don't need a mic, but I'll, today I'll take one here. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm just kind of humbled and proud of you. This is just by the way of CC uh, to be a part of this because Robin was a extremely, uh, for me, a very personal and close friend. Uh, when he found out that we were doing Bootstrap Homeless Ministry, he immediately said, I want to be part of it. I was homeless. I know what it's like. I want to do all that I can. And you know, he always did all that he could, even when he was toward the end and he was struggling. I was just telling the CC. I remember one time, and I, I, I can't remember the, the particulars, but somehow we were short of food or something. And all of a sudden, Robin and Judy showed up with a car full of a box of lunches. I, I just remember that. So, But he was always calling me up and saying, Joe, what do you need? I got this and this, this, but if you need some more, I'll get it. And so he was, and then he was just such a such a cordial person. And we're just humbled that he thought of us, uh, and that uh, he's doing what he is doing today. And we're just thankful to all of you, um, uh, and also for all of the people that that we serve at Bootstrap. Before COVID, we had sixty-five or seventy people come for a meal. Now we can't have them do that. But we still serve a hot meal at the end of the line that they go through to take things, and we're up over a hundred a week. So everything you're going to help us with is going to be well used, and none of us get paid. It's all volunteer. If anybody wants to volunteer, you can talk to Susie when we're done, because she's always looking for volunteers. So, and if anybody has any questions and you want to know anything about Bootstrap, we'd be more than happy to talk to you about it. Okay? Looking forward to the show. Okay. So today what we're going to do in her honor, I met Robin, um, I'll tell a short story about how I met Robin. So I moved to Fort Myers, Florida, in all my glory, I was not going to wait to be a snowbird, and um, moved to Fort Myers from Michigan uh, in August, uh, which is the worst time of the year to move to Florida. And my partner and I decided that we wanted to venture out, and we were looking for somewhere to go, and we ended up at the doorsteps of a little bar called Tubby's. Uh, used to be right down the corner. And that night, it was a Saturday night, and I'll never forget it, because it was the first time that I ever saw a drag queen live. Um, not on TV, not in a book, not in a magazine. Uh, Robin had a show that night. And I will never forget it. Um, it was beautiful, it was regal, it was elegant, it was all the things that I tried to do today, seven years later. She inspired me uh, in many, many ways that I don't think I ever even communicated her with. So uh, that was the first time that I ever met her and I'm like, wow, I want to do that. And then she paved the way for a lot of us that are going to perform today in her honor. We've all performed with her in some shape or form. The last time I had the pleasure of performing for her was at her last uh, birthday party that we did a couple of years ago. 
And uh, one of the songs that I did that day, I'm going to be uh, performing uh, later in her honor. But um, she was such an amazing person, always strived for the best. Um, glitz and glamour, that was something that she always said, glitz and glamour. Yes, it was always fabulous. And that's right, like she always said, she always had everything blingy, feathery. I mean, you had to take an allergy pill to be with her. Okay, it was dust, hairspray, and feathers. Some of us came out with that. <laughs> yes. And she did. She did it till last year in March. It was the last time when she graced us with her, with her presence. And that was Kid Coral Pride. Yes. She was filled with the whole ride around. It looked fabulous when they stopped. He didn't look so fabulous. <laughs> no. I don't know how she did it. She never melted. No, it's, it's, I never was just going to say that she didn't even look like she had dropped in yeah. a sweat drop. She looked as good from the beginning to the end. Us? No, not so much. <laughs> the hair was knotted. It looked like something from. What was that called? Trolls? Yeah. Well, that fits right. We were the Barbie dolls at the bottom of the toy box. And she was brand new out of the package. Always. 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 I looked at some of my pictures and I was like, ooh, yeah, now we're going to keep the problem. So, throughout the next couple hours, we're going to be doing some performances, uh, songs that she requested, um, uh, songs that she loved, um, that some of us performed. Uh, with her and for her. Um, so, but in the meantime, we encourage you to get something to drink, and we do have some food behind you, and um, we hope you uh, remember her fondly just like we do.
because she left before me. Like usual. I'd be like, where's Robin? Come on, I already went home, I'm dressed and ready to go. Please put your hands together for the next performer. She was also a big supporter of Robin. This is your favorite and your most honorable hostess here at Eden, Miss Ginger Snap! Pardon my French, a shit show. 
Uh, the crowd doesn't want to see all of the bloops and the blunders and the errors. They want a seamless show. And that's something that um, we talked about a lot um, in what she had done. And, um, and I took a lot of her work ethic uh, that she uh, taught me into what I do now. I, do, I now do this uh, for a living. I am a female impersonator full time. I pay my bills. Um, I have a husband who supports me. Um, and she was doing this when it was not popular. When RuPaul's Drag Race was not on TV, um, where she could have easily gotten killed in a parking lot uh, just for being who she was. And, you know, people like her, um, the late Miss Vanessa Jackson, um, paved the way for people like me to do what I, uh, I enjoy and what I do for a living. Uh, I love what I do. I'm one of those few people that I get to do what I love. Um, and it wouldn't have been... Um, it wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for people like her. So, thank you, Robin. Um, as we mentioned, as the performers come out, normally we perform for pay. Um, if you decide that you want to tip a performer, please put it in the bucket. All of that money is going to go to Bootstraps Ministries. And um, someone came backstage a little while ago and handed me an envelope and they wanted to make a donation. Uh, to Bootstrap Ministry, so in my hand here, I'm putting it in the bucket, is a check for $500. So, I know that it will go to an amazing cause, and um, as Naraya was saying, um, Bootstrap Ministries was something that was very near and dear uh, to Robin, and uh, Robin and I talked about it at length, and I never knew anybody who had struggled like that. Um, I never knew anybody that was homeless until I met my husband. Uh, my, my husband, Michael, who is working here uh, right now, at one point in his life, was homeless. And it was with the help of people like Robin and or in, in ministries, like Bootstraps, that help people when they don't know what else to do, and they don't know where to reach out, and they don't have that family structure or support. So, an amazing cause, an amazing charity. Um, very near and dear to a lot of us. So you guys ready for some more entertainment? Yeah? Let me make sure she's ready. All right. Our next entertainer has been a great friend to Robin, and many of you know her from many of the shows and birthday shows that we did for Robin over the years. So this Time I'd love to bring to the stage Miss Mona Lot. Hey, Jude, don't make it bad. Take a sad song and make it better. Remember. Then you can start to make it better. Hey, you, don't be afraid. You will make two. Go out and get her. Remember to let her under your skin. Then you will be. Yes. 
Like the yesterday. The first time when I performed, she was there. And she tell me, <laughs> Oh my God! I let you start. Oh, thank you. Because you look gorgeous and crazy. <laughs>
He loved his Latin community. Always supported. I remember when I did, I used to host um, Latin nights over at Tabis, the, the old Tabis over here. He would never miss the night. Ever. He was always there. So he loved his Latin shows. He loved his Spanish songs. He loved Spanish food. <laughs> but with all that said, I hope you had some good food. There's so much more food. I just want to take a moment and thank Ian and Billy for organizing the food part of it. He's done an amazing job. I want to thank your DJ that actually, I almost hated him. Nope. For the fact that he made it right. <laughs> he actually made it work. I, I, I'll give you some brownies on that one. I wasn't quite sure about you yet because you gotta remember, I am a little bit of Robin's daughter. Aside from Julie. <laughs> she would have done step here, roll her eyes and go, oh my god. But you did it. You're still good, but it's not over yet, so let's see what it does next. <laughs> what did they say? Don't praise too soon? Anyhow, we have a lot more show going on. You want more show? Yeah? More show coming? Yeah? Let's see. Are we ready? Okay. She looks fabulous, by the way. Put your hands together for the one and only Miss Ginger Snaps.
Un la ciudad de la escuela. Bien, pues, ¿sabes?
Okay. I made it. I made it. I did all my crying a couple days ago. When everything started to hit. With all the preparations and everything, and then finally we had a date and everything, and it just finally, it just finally happened. And then, something very strange happened. Now we all know like bluebirds, they're not really friendly, like people friendly, right? And I'm staying, I'm standing outside at the back door, and this blue just flies up like two feet away from me and sits there, chirps, looks at me and flies away. Really? I am not Dr. Doolittle. They usually run from me. But I thought of it, you know, maybe it's because he didn't want us to be sad. And he never did, and like Jimmy said, he never did say goodbye. He was always like, all right, see you later, bye, love ya. And then he was gone. And who knows when we saw him again? But I did, I'm gonna miss, I'm gonna miss my friend. He used to come and visit us all the time at the store. He used to call me, message me. What about this? What about that? You know, I get to do it all by myself. Thanks a lot. But we'll do it. But I thank you all so much for coming out. Um, I'm going to hand it back to Ginger. But I, I personally want to thank each and every of you and everybody that came to perform and gave you time. We couldn't be more happy to have you. And I knew that he was very fond of Cleo. He was very good friends with Mona. I know you guys know a lot of chats too. Um, we're all going to miss him a lot. He was very young and he loved us too soon. I mean, we weren't ready for all of this. But like they say, someday you got to fly out of the nest, right? And either you hit your head or you don't. What you going to do about it? But I can see, I can see him laughing out there every time something happens. I can feel it. Ha ha, I told you so. Because I was also one of his favorite lines. Ha ha, I told you so. I'm sure, Julie, you can test for that. <laughs> now, we have a very special person in town. Um, he came all the way down for the celebration as well. And I want to see, Mark, would you like to say a few things? Yes, you can. You can? Well, put your fucking tears away. Put your alcohol down. He does like to drink. <laughs> Come here, I'll hold your hand. <laughs> I can't see much because of that damn spotlight, but I can see that. Mark has been friends with Robin. Well, I think before I was born. 50 years. 50 years? Oh my. You guys were friends 50 years. And some people might know him in drag. I feel like I'm going to get hit with something if I see the name. <laughs> but. Mark was the one that originally started Robin in drag. So technically you are his mom. That makes you my grandmother. <laughs> and on that note... <laughs> How many bottles does he have? I can't see. <laughs> oh, I can see now. Okay, okay. I'm safe now. <laughs> now, I'm glad you came down, Mark. We're, we're very happy that you could come make down. We have another person that couldn't make it. Um, his name is Scott. They're in Canada and they're locked out. So he was he was almost we almost had him convinced to come. Like literally, almost. And then Canada shut the borders. So unfortunately he won't be joining us today either. But we've been able to, I think, take most of the event today. So anyone that wants a copy of this event today, please direct yourself to that man over there on the hat. That is Jay, he's my husband. He's been filming it all tonight. And <laughs> so Scott
God had sent this beautiful arrangement of flowers as well. And um, he just said to everybody that he was sorry. He sent me a message and said to say that he was sorry he couldn't be here. But he would be here in spirit and he will be coming down later this year to visit everybody like family and stuff like that. So um, with that said, I would like to hand this back over to Ginger. <laughs> oh, I see you got coffee. I know. I just wanted to thank you as well for being here. She has to run and do another show this evening, but I just wanted to bring you up here and say thank you. Um, the bar is yours. I will never step in your shoes because today was already enough. I've lived for another three years, trust me. But I'm going to have to do it every year now, so sucks to be me. But I would really thank you personally as well. Um, Robin was a very big inspiration to all of us. And she does, she did pave our, our ways to this, this beautiful land of strapped in and can't breathe and feel fabulous. So I'll let you say a few more words and then you gotta go. Thank you, Ms. Noelle. Let's give it up for the right line. In the true tradition, you know, uh, I talked about Robin and paving the way and sometimes um, she paved too well. Um, today I am triple booked, uh, <laughs> doing what I love, and I'm in uh, three different locations today. So I'm actually, when I leave here, uh, going to another venue and putting on another show. And if it wasn't for her, um, I wouldn't be able to do stuff like that. So um, on days like this, I, I, I'm tired, but at the end of the day, um, I know I gave 110%. And um, if I touch somebody by something that I did, and I don't mean it appropriately, uh, that's after the show. Um, <laughs> I always have to be a lady. But if what we do touches you in some way, if a song that we perform invokes a memory that brings a smile or a tear to your face, um, uh, or, or brings a fond memory of a friend or your, your grandparents or, or whatever, um, means that we've, we've done what we, what we set out to do, so, um, I'm not a crier, but, no, I'm not, but I have to say goodbye, so I know that she's looking down on so many people that she called family and chosen family and colleagues, and um, she loved her family so much. Um, she talked constantly about how proud she was of her kids and her grandkids and uh, the people that she surrounded herself, her chosen family, she's so proud of, proud of that. And now she um, gets to do everything without restriction and, you know, shine her love down on everybody. So I wanna thank you guys for coming out. Um, and helping us share and um, celebrating her life. Um, that's exactly what she wanted. She didn't want any tears. She'd be backstage yelling at me right now, um, telling me to fuck it up, suck it up, buttercup. Yeah, so on behalf of Eden, thank you guys for coming. Thank you so much, uh, Billy and Eden, for lighting um, this place. Uh, that's the one thing. Uh, some of these girls never got to see uh, my friend Vanessa Jackson and Robin never got the chance to perform on the stage um, And they would have loved it. It's uh, every entertainer's dream. It's big. It's sturdy. It's not going anywhere. It doesn't creak and groan um, She would have been right at home here. So we have some dressing room. Yeah, so we need a little bit bigger dressing. Well, he has a dressing room. Yeah, no bathroom. Yeah, we're not getting ready in the bathroom. So she would have loved that as well. So, but thank you guys. Thank you so much. All right. So we have um, before we close the show. Can we get volunteers to count the money so we can see what how much was raised? So that is uh, that is state rule that we have to count the money and tell people how much they have spent here today, and hand it over to the officials. Tell 
me what does it look like in heaven is it peaceful is it free like they say does the sun shine bright forever have your fears and your pain Are you happy? Are you more alive?